The code you have in this task um, has been set up to do some basic animation. I'm going to run the program so you can see what it looks like. A cloud will move across the screen, going from left to right, and when the cloud moves off the edge of the screen, it will appear somewhere on the uh, left again. And then it will slowly move across and keep repeating uh, until I close the program. This program is a good example of how to do some very simple but basic animation. Um, and this could be used as the basis of any kind of animation you want to create, but also any game you want to create. So let's have a look at the code. The first part of the code, from lines 1 to 4, is essentially setting the colour of the background, which is blue, the brush colour and the pen colour. Now the difference between brush and pen is the brush is what we fill in uh, a shape with, and the pen is the outline of the colour or the line colour. So both I've set to white because I want the cloud to be uh, completely white and have the outline white as well. The cloud is just an ellipse. Now to create an ellipse and add it to the, um, the page, I would use the command shapes that add ellipse. The two items in brackets is the size of the ellipse, not its position on the screen, but its size. Now I assign this to a variable because that allows me to change where it is on the screen later on. So whenever you use shapes to add whatever, you'd always do um, an assignment as well. If we have a look at that in a little bit more detail, I'll create a new variable called example equals shapes. And as you can see, the little uh, drop down has appeared. I have a number of items here. So I can use an image a lie, a rectangle, text, triangles, um, I can even tell it to animate itself. So I can use a lot of these um, options to do any kind of animation or drawing I want on the screen. So I use an ellipse because it's the right size for a cloud, but if I wanted to, I could use an image. The next part, lines 10 and 11, I'll show you the position of the cloud initially. So initially it's a position 100 by 120. So the X and Y position on the screen is essentially the top left hand corner of the cloud. Lines 14 to 27 is the main loop. And on this I've put a comment saying keep looping forever. With animation you want to keep it looping until the user presses the close button which is why it says while tree. The line 16 will basically move the cloud. Notice the first um, part of this is the variable cloud. Now if you remember on line 7, that's where I assigned uh, a shape to it. So cloud is actually a shape that I can move around. X and Y is the position of the cloud. Now when this first runs, the cloud will be moved to positions 100 and 120. That's the initial position. Lines 18 to 22, I'm going to come back to uh, in a second, but I'm going to jump over, over them initially and go to lines 24. Line 24 is how the cloud will start to move. X equals X plus 1. Now moving X um, to the right, uh, or adding one to it will basically make the move the cloud move to the right. If I want it to go faster, I can make that number bigger. Line 26 will basically slow the program down so I can actually enjoy the animation. So that delays it by 10 milliseconds. You can experiment with that number to make the animation faster or slower as you see fit. When the cloud gets off the screen, I want to do something else, and that's what line 18 does. As you know, if statements allow me to make a decision, and in this case, the decision is if the x is greater than graphics window dot width. Now, graphics window is the actual screen that you'll see the animation on. It dot width is how long it is, and I add 150 to that because that's the size of my cloud. So I want my cloud to move all the way off the screen first before I make it wrap around. If I didn't do that, it would jump down and look a bit weird. So I want it to go all the way off the screen first, and if it does, I then want to move it all the way back to the other side, and that's why x equals minus 150. 
So that makes the cloud completely to the left of the screen and not visible on the screen. I then set Y to be a random number between 1 and 300, which means that the cloud will move itself randomly in the vertical plane. Okay, so when you run this program, what you see, and hopefully this will make a bit more sense now, is when a cloud moves off to the edge, notice that it moves all the way off first, that's where the 150 comes into it, and then it picks a random number to draw the cloud again in the y-axis. So every time the cloud wraps around, it comes in at a different position.